Howdy folks, my name is Ian Moore. I'm the music minister here at Trinity, and uh, we're going through Proverbs 10 today. I'm only going to read a little bit of it, um, but uh, I encourage you to go ahead and get in the Word. It's a, uh, it's a blessing that the Lord promises to meet us in the Word, and uh, I do think that it brings a lot of um, good things for us, and uh, you know, nothing bad can come from that. Um, <clears throat> what I do want to say is that uh, I... I'm only going to read a little bit of it because I kind of feel like uh, at least my particular reflection on this scripture passage uh, kind of makes itself pretty prevalent just by reading it. So I'm going to read a little bit, uh, reflect, and then pray. Um, the Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is a sorrow to his mother. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit, but righteousness delivers from death. The Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. He who gathers in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps in the harvest is a son who brings shame. Blessings are on the head of the righteous, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. The memory of the righteous is a blessing, but the name of the wicked will rot. The wise of the heart will receive commandments, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his way crooked will be found out. Whoever winks the eye causes trouble, but a babbling fool will come to ruin. The mouth of the righteous is a fountain of life, but the mouth of the wicked conceals violence. Just my reflection is as I was kind of getting through this is just how um, the same tools used differently can have different effects like our mouth can be used to build others up or can be used to tear others down or can be used to positively influence people or lead them astray um, I just think that that's something interesting for us to be thinking about. I, I think especially as I, the one that particularly, st particularly sticks out to me uh, is the one that it's talking about how, um, you know, a son who works in the summer hard is a blessing, but a son who uh, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't work in the fall during the harvest it's a waste and it, and I think that that's interesting you know that's a lot to expect of us that there's so much expected of us um, to do good <laughs> at all times and so it just points us to Christ and points us to how he continues to grow us and give us opportunities so that's kind of my reflection is uh, these tools that God gives us these gifts these things can be used for good or bad um, and sometimes unintentionally using them <laughs> Kind of leads to bad things but be thankful that christ works through us and that we can lean into him uh, to kind of cover up those things so that's going to be my prayer lord uh, i'm just praying that our tools our gifts that you give us that we use them for your good for your ways cover our <laughs> mistakes give us grace and may we lean into where we can be strong in the summer and strong in the harvest in your name we pray Amen. All right, folks. See you next week.